everyone, Ash here, and we need to respawn and deal with the next, deal with the next uh, shard. Unfortunately, that means dealing with the Klingons as well. Yeah, yeah, you'll probably see my ship blow up several times, but, but unfortunately, there's not a whole lot I can do about it. Just continue focusing on the shards and continue focusing on the uh, shards and the uh, fragments. That's the uh, most you can do. If you continue to blow up, you'll just uh, if you continue to just blow up, you'll just uh, have to deal with it, unfortunately. Yeah, there is a ridiculous, there is a ridiculous amount of Klingons here. This, uh, this fragment's about to, about to blow up and break into, break into, uh, three more shards. And sure enough, think, sure enough, I, um, I, uh, what am I trying to say? Sure enough, I blew up there. Lovely. Spawn, please. Ah. Ah, good. Yeah, they're already in, already in weapons range. I like that. Yeah, they're in weapons range, and none of the uh, none of the Klingon ships uh, ships are. I like that a lot. Yeah, unfortunately. Unfortunately, our ship looks like a Dura ship. I'm not exactly sure why, but, you know, whatever. Alright, that... Oh, great. We're coming into range of the, uh, Klingon ships. Right. That takes care of a... That takes care of that... That shard. So, now let's turn our attention to this one. And then there's a there's a fragment there that we'll need to uh, turn our attention to. This is not going so well. Right, that takes care of that takes care of the uh, those shards. We have one more one more fragment to deal with, and three more shards. And unfortunately, you'll be seeing me explode a lot more as well. Hopefully. Uh, Hopefully the Klingons will fly off a fly off a bit, and I'll be able to get to not what I wanted to do there, game. Do I have any engine batteries? No, unfortunately, it doesn't look like it. And this is obviously going to be an annoyance. This is not going. This is not going well at all. Yeah, this is definitely not going well at all here. And exploded again. Great. Yeah, it would be nice if I could get the. Uh, it'd be nice if I could get closer to the. Uh, closer to the. Uh, Let's see about deactivating that there. Yes, full impulse. There we go. There we go. That that worked out a little bit better. I'm still being attacked by Klingons, but at least I, at least I'm uh, at least I'm close enough to the shard to, or the uh, fragment to be able to do some. Damage to it before I get destroyed again because uh, because uh, yeah I'm obviously going to get destroyed again. Nice if it'd be nice if my rotate should frequency uh, buff would activate and. 
and boom. Hopefully I'm close enough to where if when my ship blows up, yes. Yes, I was close enough close enough that when my ship blew up it uh, destroyed the uh, fragment which uh, turned into shards. Great. Let's just fly past fly past the Klingons here and take care of the uh, take care of the shards. Thankfully, the shards take a lot less, lot less damage to destroy than the uh, fragments or the uh, actual meteor did. That's a that's a big advantage. Here. I should do is if I get if I do get this one destroyed, I should move in close enough to uh, to the other ones while attacking because. Uh, because when my ship blows up, it should damage the fragment significantly. Yeah, they're talking about how they're talking about how his ship's damaged. I'm not exactly sure, not exactly sure how that happens since I uh, I didn't actually attack him. It should do a bit of damage to that fragment or that. Uh, yes, actually, it, actually, uh, my ship exploding destroyed that shard. One more shard, and we should be done. Respond, please. Right, let's let's blow past the, these ships and deal with this last shard piece. Yeah, just focus on the uh, focus on the asteroid, and ignore the Klingons because I don't know if you can actually. Uh, I don't know if you can actually take care of the Klingons here. I think they just keep respawning and such. I could be wrong, but but yeah, I just I just focus on the uh, focus on the uh, focus on the asteroid. Just a bit more. Boom! And I got a deflectory out of it too. Awesome. There we go. Mission complete. All we need to do is return to the prison. Right. Uh, I don't know. Right. I don't know how that I don't know how that happened. This I mean it says uh it says return to the prison. I'm not sure how I'm not sure how the uh, how his ship was destroyed. I don't even think I attacked her. I don't even think I attacked him, if you wanna know the truth. And look, it even says re report to the neutral zone contact. Would be it would be nice if I could actually actually try to finish this mission. Unfortunately, fortunately, I don't know if that's going to be possible. I should do is I should just stop and let them shoot at me and destroy me again. So uh, so I respawn. Right. Hopefully the enemies will move away from where I. Hopefully the enemies will move away from where, I, where I'm at, and uh, so I can spawn again and uh, hopefully finish this mission. I won't respawn till they're. I won't respawn till they're a good distance away from me. Anyways, I am out of time, so when we come back, hopefully we'll finish this mission because, I don't know, it just says, uh, report, so when we come back, hopefully we'll finish this. Later. <laughs>